It's a common crime this time of year, shoplifting. And police say thefts from stores take money right out of your wallet. WKYT's investigative team pulled shoplifting arrest numbers for Lexington. And what we found may surprise you. Investigative reporter Miranda Combs is tracking the shoplifting trend. The official description of the crime is theft by unlawful taking, but most of us know it as shoplifting, a misdemeanor mostly, but a crime, one that turned dangerous just a few days ago in Bowling Green, when an officer shot a man after employees at a local sporting goods store said the man was trying to steal a rifle. Most shoplifting cases don't escalate to that level, but the crime has a ripple effect for the economy and your wallet. That's $12 billion that is essentially lost. It's gone. It's going to the shoplifters. That's nationally, but individually, each of us lose about $400 a year to shoplifters, according to Dr. Chris Bollinger with the University of Kentucky. You take your total inventory of everything you've bought in the last year, food, clothing, and all that in retail stores, and you're paying $400 more for all of that than you would in the absence of shoplifting. And there are more shoplifters this year than last year in Lexington. From March to November, shoplifting was up in 2014 compared to 2013 for a total of 2,342 shoplifting arrests in 2014. The warmer months were the worst in May and June. If you're a retailer, I think it's probably one of your, your biggest uncontrollable costs. Bollinger says there is a lot store managers can control, from utility costs to employee pay, but shoplifting is a wild card that hits the economy. Probably the best way to think about shoplifting in a lot of ways is it's kind of like a tax. A tax that's shared by both the consumer and the producer. The consumer pays a higher price and the producer gets a lower return. Retail has hands down the lowest profit margins of any industry. So retailers do what they can to stop the shoplifting. In our research, we found the Walmart in Hamburg on Greylag Way to have the most shoplifting arrests of any store in Lexington. A spokesperson for the Walmart tells us they take shoplifting very seriously and says they are good at catching shoplifters. And the numbers prove it. So far this year, Walmart on Greylag Way had 391 shoplifting arrests, about 150 more arrests than were made at Fayette Mall's address this year for shoplifting. Walmart says they recently hired more security personnel. They call asset protection to shore up the shoplifting. But Bollinger says hiring more employees to stop shoplifting still affects your wallet. You can't push a balloon in one spot and not have it change somewhere else. And that's, that's what we're talking about here. And in regard to the Hamburg area, as we mentioned, Walmart there had almost 400 shoplifting arrests this year, but Meyer in Hamburg only had about 84 arrests so far in 2014. So these are actual arrests you're talking about, not just incidents. Right. We're not talking about just incidents. Those could happen anywhere at any time, but Walmart has gone an extra step and really arrested mm -hmm. a lot more than the other stores in Lexington. So I guess don't mess around at Walmart is the message. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Miranda, thank you.